Hey, what's up everybody? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. We are down here at the dealership with our 9380 and our case drill. If you look at our money, we are at 16791 Now, I did figure out uh, what our issue was, actually. Um, the liquid fertilizer and the herbicide tanks were both plum full. So when we sold the tanks, it also sold the contents of those tanks. That's where we got that extra $3 million from. Now, I dropped it down. Um, you know, beans that I did have to pay to fill everything. Um, I dropped it down to us getting 150000 out of each tank off of what was in them. Now, I've done quite a bit around the farm. And I will be showing you guys that here in just a moment. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to trade in this 9380 and this Case 500 drill. Uh, or more so sell them. So the disc is what we're going to sell first. We are going to get $125,418 for this guy. And our 9380, we are going to get 75,511 for. So that brings us up to $217,000. Now, we jump up here. You can see we have a couple of machines sitting here. First off, we have a uh, International 1586. I mentioned in yesterday's video that it'd be nice to have one more smaller tractor around um, this will make a great auger tractor and it'll also help out too it could run our spreader our sprayer stuff like that uh, so we picked this guy up and then we have our monster our versatile 935 which is going to be our main workhorse for well this is going to be running our plow our cultivator and our new air seeder this is the, oh, what's it even called here? The PK-15-8, the Cuzbass. I don't know, I'm probably butchering the absolute hell out of it. But we're going to call this our PK Air Seeder. That's what we're going to call her. Now, as you can see, we do have an auger going to our seed and fertilizer cart. But... We don't have anything that can dump into it. We do have our semi-trailer, but that's going to be a little bit overkill for this thing. So, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and figure out something to use to load it with. And I'm in the wrong category here. I want to be in trailers. So, let's see what we have. If maybe we got a gravity wagon that would work. So we do have these Kill Bros gravity wagons. Um, let's see, is seed and fertilizer in its list? There's seed and there is fertilizer. So that guy could work. Uh, we would need two of them, so we would spend about 24000 on it. Now we have the Parker 2500 gravity wagon. And we also have the 4000, which is going to be a little bit bigger than we need. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go with two of these Kill Bros 300s. Yeah, we're going to go with two of these guys. So we're going to go ahead buy two of them, get them delivered up here to our farm. While those arrive we have a new building so I did put down a new machine shed and we didn't even have to mess with the bin and even better we can put one more bin here and then we could even fit like two more bins over here so that worked out perfect and we have some space over here as well that we can uh, fit some things in so we'll go ahead uh, let me make sure my okay we're going to go ahead, open up the door so we got our tender trailer up here, 
and our liquid tender. We got the grain cart in the corner, and then we got the Meridian and the Batco in here. We also have our hopper trailer, and then we have our sprayer. Oh. Okay, well, this thing shifted, and I'm not sure why. Interesting. I don't think it moves. We'll have to figure that out. And then we got our plow, our cultivator, and we got our spreader. Now, this is going to be the next thing that we need right here. So that means that we have to pull out our semi so we can get this hopper trailer out. And then we need to pull the sprayer and the corn planter out. And then we'll go ahead and while we're at it, we'll uh, fix that. Um, and then... In our Quonset here, we did do some rearranging. Uh, so I brought the pickup header in here, and I put it all the way in the back. And then we got our combine. I also brought the swather in here. And then our 4755, we got our semi in the back. And then over here, I got the fuel trailer sitting inside. So we're going to go ahead and close that door, as well as that door. And then we've got the 863 Bobcat in here. And our snowblower is still chilling off in the back. We can go ahead and close this up because we don't need to do anything in that shed for a little while. So, first off, let's go ahead. Let's grab the truck. <clears throat> we're going to pull this guy out. And we're going to go grab that hopper trailer and get it out of the way. We're just going to pull it out and off to the side for the time being because we are not going to need it right now. We are not going to need it for a good while, actually. And then we're just going to shut them off. And then we're going to go ahead and put our uh, new tractor to use here. Oh. Dealership got here with our gravity wagons. Perfect. All right. Why can I not bring up my... Hmm. Okay. Apparently, it won't let me use my interactive control inside. So, first things first, we're going to grab this uh, sprayer and pull him out. We're just going to take him and pull him right outside the door here. We're just going to stick him right behind the hopper trailer here. So now, I'm sure some people, you know, me personally, I hate uh, putting stuff in front of other things in the shed. Um, but it is also a much more realistic way of doing things, so... Uh, I mean, you're not always going to have a shed big enough for everything, but still being able to keep everything organized. And we are going to catch like none other on this chisel. It also does not help that this tractor is... Wow, way too light and way too underpowered to be pulling this planter around. It's a good thing that this is not a planned planter tractor. This is spreader and auger. Wow, apparently we're just going to pull this guy straight on out of here. Good grief. All right, we might have to get the 47 out here to move this guy. Because this tractor is going to go nowhere with it. Now, let's uh, jump here into the back. 
Let's grab this spreader out. Maybe I should have gotten this tractor with some weights. All right. So there's that. We're going to grab... We're going to take this and we're going to put it back over by the shed because I don't know if I really want to try and maneuver in there with this big guy. Perfect. We'll just leave this thing right here and we'll grab our 47 out. Oh yes, and I do still need to put fuel in this thing. I forgot to do that when I went to go put it away. Oh, and that tractor will also run our anhydrous bar. Kind of forgot about that just because of the fact of uh, we have not used it. But that is going to change. We are going to be using that this fall uh, because we are going to be putting in some corn. There we go. Kind of a terrible way to do it. But, we got it to where it needs to be. Whoops. And we just hit the auger. Hmm. Can't tell if it's moving or not. I must have either hit it with something, or I... Um... I either hit it with something, or else I, uh, I don't know, maybe my super strength was on and I forgot about it or something, which is also very possible. Okay, so we're going to take this guy, ooh, easy, and we're going to pull him right up here. All right, that guy is done as well. Now, for the next thing, if you guys look, we have one big field here now. I got everything done. I got it all fixed up. So we are good to go on that field. Now, beans that we do have some extra money. Oh, first of all, we can sell off this chainsaw because we don't need that guy anymore. Now, beans that we do have a little bit extra money, we could potentially pick up another field. And I'm kind of thinking this field right here. Um, but let's see here. So this one's 124,000. So we could pick this guy up as well. And then we can run this. So let's go ahead and buy that field. And then we're going to pop up here and buy the soil map for it. So it's going to be interesting to see how this field map works out. Now, let's go ahead, we're going to take this guy, and we're going to just step out and shut the door here. So, we're going to take this guy, and uh, we need to run down and go get some fertilizer. But first, I want to make sure that Corseplay, perfect, Corseplay is going to recognize that this is one field. That's going to work out great. Now... The next thing that we need to do is we need to come up here and we need to make some work plans. So we got field one, current, fr current fruit, we're just going to put flax. Planned fruit is going to be corn, lime it needs, 
mulching not needed plowing is not needed right now roller it'll need fertilizer done no sowing with fertilizer done no weeds not needed not needed spray is going to be needed okay and now we got field 50 current fruit is i believe that was our pea field planned fruit is going to be oats lime is needed mulching not needed plowing not needed roller will be needed and sowing with fertilizer spray need add and then we've got what else do we have we got 9 10 and 28 so 9 let's see what is 9's current crop Nine is currently flax. And then 28 is. Hmm. So we're going to put corn up in 28 just to kind of get it out of oats because we don't want to plant the exact same crop in it. So nine is flax. Ten has nothing. So we got nine current fruit, flax planned is oats, lime is needed, mulching not needed, plowing not needed, roller will be needed. This will set to sowing with fertilizer, need, add. Add an entry, we need field 10. Uh, current fruit is nothing, planned is oats okay this we need this we need put sowing sawing with fertilizer I just noticed that that it is sawing not sowing all right then and then we'll go to field 28 current is oats and we're going to put corn in it we'll need lime we'll need to roll it we'll saw it with fertilizer <laughs> and we'll need to spray it as well all right perfect so now first things first we need to go and load this guy up with some lime so i am going to go ahead and i'm going to run down get this filled up and first field that we're going to do is going to be field 50. Um, now I need to check when can we plant oats. Okay, that's in the spring. Perfect. April and May. Okay. So I will see you guys when we get down to, uh, when we get over here to field 50. All right. Thanks. Okay, guys, we're back. Co-op just left. They brought us this uh, Kenworth T600 and uh, Loftness FT1600 box. And they brought it uh, fully filled up with lime. So it should be enough to keep us moving. And then we've got our uh, spreader here in the field. Oh, hold on a minute here. I completely took the doors off. That was not what I wanted to do. I don't know how I managed to do that, but all right. Alrighty. Anyhow, we are going to go ahead and we are going to spread fertilizer on field 50 here. Ooh, this tractor might be a little underpowered for this. Nope, it's just gearbox being stupid. I don't have manual gearbox enabled, 
this is just automatic um, so at times I do have to manually go in and hit it because it does not always want to uh, work correctly but but it is what it is at times I guess sometimes you gotta just roll with it so we're gonna go ahead um, we're gonna spread this first field today on camera and then off camera I'm going to get field one spread and I'm going to let course play do it because that is just gonna be a monstrosity to uh, do anything on now but that is perfectly fine um, we gained a fair amount of uh, acreage by combining those three, well, the two sections of field one and then field uh, 51 all together. So it'll definitely be a good thing, but when it comes to doing the field work, it is going to make for a royal pain in the ass. Uh, it's going to make everything take much longer. But like I said, that's perfectly fine. That's what we got to deal with. That's what we got to deal with, I guess. So we'll see uh, kind of how things go come next harvest. I think what we're going to end up doing is when we go and sell our grain, I think we're going to end up building a few more bins. Um because now we have a lot more land and we are also growing crops that are much higher producing than the crops that we grew this year. So I think um, after we've gotten all of our crops sold and all of our um, or all of our grain sold and we have our crop in the field, I think we're going to end up putting up a few more of those uh, larger Roscoe bins there. Um, that way we can kind of, that way we have the room for everything next, uh, fall. Because I, I don't think we would be able to hold much of anything, uh, with our current storage system. Now I know, um, there is also, also a spot so let's see here right down here i believe yeah right here uh farmland 11 is a uh, silo complex or a grain leg i should say but right down here farmland 33 in field 34 or it's right inside of field 36 there are three grain bins down there so we could also poten potentially buy that, but I would much rather have our storage here at the farm. So we will kind of have to see how all that plays out. We should get a fairly, hopefully anyways, a fairly decent um, amount of money from our crops when we sell. Uh, fingers crossed anyways. So... That'll kind of be one of the biggest uh, things to factor into that decision, but we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it, I guess. So we still got all of our liming to do, and then all of our oats fields, we are going to take uh, the... Uh, Great Plains cultivator over, and then all of our corn fields um, will be taking our anhydrous bar over and using that. Uh, if you guys do remember from the beginning of the series when I, well, our very first episode, I guess, when uh, I showed off everything that we have, um, I did mention that it is set up as... A cultivator so we uh, we won't need to cultivate separately the 
perfect. This will pick up all the rest of this. Just a little bit more to do down here, and then this field will be done. And then we'll probably go and we'll top this uh, spreader up on lime because field one is probably going to take quite a bit. Perfect. And we used, we are down to 66%. So we definitely used a uh, fair bit on it here. So we are going to go ahead and we're going to run this back into the yard and then uh, get it topped off on lime and then uh, then I think it'll be time to release this guy on our monstrous field and now that it has been a little bit we're gonna check on that 2410 and make sure it hasn't moved um, I think if it did, I think we might have to put that back outside. That or else uh, maybe rearrange and put that in the back corner instead of uh, this spreader. We're going to get backed under our auger here. Perfect. Let's take a quick peek. It does not look like it has moved, so I think we're good there. I must have, something must have happened with it. All right. Now, we're going to get that filled up. Perfect. And that is full. And this guy, we can get uh, moved over here to field one. It's definitely a lot of weight. So I think we might have to uh, throw some front weights onto this tractor. She is just a little too light up there in the front end. But alrighty guys, I think that's going to do it for today. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy set up. And I might look into getting some front weights put on this thing as well because she definitely needs some a uh, little more weight to her. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to let this guy do this field here and uh, see how long she is going to take and then uh, when we come back tomorrow we'll be working on uh, some more fields so thanks everybody for watching hope you all enjoyed this video and uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did and we will catch you all later see you tomorrow